Hello students, uh, today we will talk about uh, the rice blast disease. So that is very important uh, disease of uh, rice all over the world and that is caused by a pyricularia uh, The older name of uh, this uh, uh, causal organism is pyricularia grisi or magnoporti grisi. Uh, pyricularia urizi belongs to order Muniliales and uh, family Dimatiaceae. So what are the symptoms of uh, the rice blast? Uh, the symptoms appear on the leaf and leaf sheet. Uh, center of the region show grayish, white grayish color uh, with pale brown margin. Here you can see uh, uh, white grayish color in the center and uh, pale brown margin. Uh, uh, the center is covered by this. Uh, pale brown, uh, brown margins and the typical uh, symptom of uh, this uh, disease is uh, the eye shaped or spindle shaped uh, lesions or spots uh, with white uh, to gray center and brown borders uh, lesions may be enlarged and uh, kill the entire plants and uh, uh, in node blast, symptoms appear on the node portion. Uh, I will show you in the next slides. In the neck blast, ear uh, head uh, turns into the black uh, girdling, girdling uh, cause uh, dropping of the ear head. So here you can see uh, this is uh, the head bla uh, neck blast. This is the hip blast and this is a uh, node blast. So this is difference uh, difference between the brown spot of rice and rice blast. Here you can see irregular uh, uh, oval to kind of uh, uh, circular to oval spots and uh, in case of uh, uh, blast legends these are highly high shaped or uh, spindle, spindle shaped uh, legends. Uh, these are also obvious from here as well uh, you can uh, uh, differentiate clearly differentiate between the uh, brown spot of rice and uh, the rice blast uh, here uh, these are circular to oval uh, shaped uh, lions or spots but here the spots or lions are eye shaped or spindle shaped life cycle uh, the over seasoning of uh, this pathogen uh, takes place as mycelia or conidia on the rice straw and seed. So plant debris and seeds are the primary inoculum sources uh, for the rice blast. In the tropical regions, conidia are present in the air as well uh, throughout the year. And fungus releases the conidia during periods of high relative humidity. And uh, Airborne conidia upon landing adhere to the surface of the leaves and germinate there. Here you can see uh, the simplified uh, version of this life cycle. Airborne spores are uh, called conidia that uh, land on the uh, surface of the leaf and germinate there. And the fungus penetrate uh, to the leaf surface and uh, or enter uh, into the leaves uh, through the stomata. Uh, there uh, the fungus grows and uh, produces uh, spots and uh, lions, spindle-like or eye-shaped lions. And in these lions, spores are uh, produced and these are released uh, and uh, uh, these are blown away uh, by the wind or air splashes, uh, rain splashes. And, uh, uh, the more spores are produced and uh, secondary infection takes place when these spores land on the other plant surfaces. How we can manage this uh, disease? Uh, use of resistant or tolerant varieties like Super Gold and uh, uh, Neob Super. Uh, seed, seed treatment with the Agrosan uh, foliar spray. Uh, we can use a body X mixture. Uh, we can use Glitox, Benlate, uh, these are highly effective and economical uh, fungicide sprays against uh, uh, rice blast. 
similar the other chemicals can also be used for example uh, azoxy strobin and triacylazoles so that was all about uh, the rice blast and i hope you like this video thank you very much